I'm making a video. Pedalboards. Cool. Interesting. Pedalboards. Cool. Stall. Pedalboards. Cool. Interesting. Useful. Convenient. Expensive. You could pay these days 100, 200 pounds, sometimes 80 pounds for a pedal train. Which in reality is just a couple bits of metal, aluminium, welded together. This is why I have taken to making it at home. Homemade. It's just better. And I'm going to show you how to do it in an hour. Excluding the time it takes for the paint to dry. For this you'll need some scrap wood. A drill. A screwdriver. And a saw. And a paint of your choice. <laughs> this is the process. Hello, everyone. This has been done a hundred times, but I'm doing it as well, and I need content, so I'm gonna do it. But what am I doing? I'm making a pedal board using this old door for my shelf and this old shelf. They're both shelves. <laughs> I so um, Katie doesn't need many pedals. I don't think. The wah pedal can go here, um, and you know, there's space for like six more pedals. This is gonna be the bit that gets stepped on. I don't know if a square pedal board's gonna work, but fuck it, why not? And then we're gonna just chop this up and use it as the support slats. So, yeah, let's get Roy right into it. This is upside down, and I've just cut this bit off the shelf and I gotta even it out. But, I realize this already has holes in it, so I'm thinking if this is a bit further, then two things will be solved. One, it won't lean so high up, because, you know, you don't want it too high up. Um, but also, if I punch through these holes, which are already mostly drilled, then there'll be a place to feed cables through, which will be nice. So let's give that a go. Where You have to lean right to the end for it to fucking rock back like that, so... Wah wah. Yeah. I decided to give it a finish. <coughs> My favourite colour is purple, but there is no purple spray paint, so we're going for a bright red and then a gold sparkle finish. I've done the first coat. Well, the only coat, I guess. Waiting for that to dry, and then I'll flip it over and show you how I did the other side. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna paint the front now. Don't breathe in the fumes or you might get high. Yeah. Now, some of you in the comments might be saying, Oh, you painted that horrible. You know what guys, this is DIY Rapkin and you're watching my channel. I'll start I actually think it's gonna have a really trippy effect the way it's dripping down like that. That looks quite cool. Um. Okay, boys, I think it's done. Yeah, Velcro on both sides. Well, a little bit on the underside for power supply to sit under. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Literally, the gift that keeps on giving. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's a pedal board. It's a pedal board! <laughs> it's really sparkly. Yeah. So what what do I do? I just put shit on it. Yeah, you get pedals, you put the soft velcro on them. It matches my guitar. It yeah. matches my guitar. Yes. And my lipstick. There's some under here. This is a personal design feature. <laughs> because when you have a power supply. It can fit under here and won't compromise space. I mean, we don't top. want we don't want to have not enough. But I don't know anything about pedal boards. <laughs>